visibly lit leaked since we left. All while we were here, before we moved in, he painted over it, trying to cover up the fact that the ceiling leaks underneath the bathroom. But as you can see, it's just gotten worse and worse. Paint can't cover it up. And now you can see that it's over here. All the way up under here. So it's not our responsibility. It's not our fault it's doing that. Supposedly ruined wallpaper. It looks fine to me when you fill back the paper, which he did not even do to check it. And the candles! Yet another offense. He burnt them all down. Another one. Yet another. Think! It squirts water out the side! I don't have to say anything else. Toilet is crooked. Uh-huh. Crooked. And listen. It's running. Does that a lot. No wonder his water bill's high. Nice clean kitchen exactly the way it was when we moved in. Well, the exception of that horrible, horrible ceiling. He even left some oil in the tank. Yeah, there you go. There's paint in case you need to touch stuff up. There's one of the air conditioners which is already in the basement. And we have to take one out of the window upstairs. Because it was the middle of winter and we were getting a draft and our heating was being really bad. very hot. Carpet has been swept so that it's just the way it was when we moved in. The room after it's been painted and look how nice. And there is a crack in the ceiling that has never been fixed onto my room. These walls look much better since we painted them as well. We did this to the ceiling, which it has an even spot. I'm coming into my room. 
ceiling right here is messed up. I don't know what's wrong with it. And the ugly bathroom is as well, ugly as it was before. Oops, I need to get that stuff. The spare bedroom. That we can. No, came to the house. Air conditioner that he had such a fit about. That really is supposed to be in the window down here. out of this window so I don't think you can tell you kick it out and move it around back and it was just me and her so we couldn't lift it it was too heavy for us to carry it all the way in there and he never did it like he should have in November when we moved in so oh, so we're just gonna have to stay here for the time being but we are not leaving it to just like be nasty or anything it's just we don't have a choice we have to be out of here by the end of april so there you go before us we see a line <laughs> with a large gaping hole in it it was not there or was there actually we didn't <laughs> we didn't break it we didn't <laughs> we didn't do that. Was not us. Was there when we moved in. Landlord did not fix it. Look at it. Daddy tried to cover up the leaks in the ceiling. Yeah, the spot painted hastily over. With glossy paint. Yeah, with glossy paint on this. Did you get the sewer spot in the kitchen? Oh yeah, I got it a couple of times already. How about you go down and get that crooked spot again? These worms keep falling down. What about filming the wire and getting the basement from 1925? What about this weird spot in the wall? You know, there's only plugs in one room. May I reach them? See these plug-ins? No ground wire. They're not up to code. Gee, what if somebody reported them? That's a fire hazard for any potential renters. But thank God we have that ADT security system. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? 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 So, there's something wrong with the plug. Yeah. I'm filming it. They can explain it later. It's the only one. There isn't even one in the upstairs bathroom. This window is not... Right, it's painted open, we can't shut it. Are we ready? the cracks and all the paint? Are we ready to the Oh, outlet in the bathroom. We were running a cord from out here, an extension cord to be able to blow dry our hair. And when we did the damn thing to blow a fuse, if she ran one in her room at the same time, then we'd have to go down and switch it back on. Here. That's the panel on the first floor. You're probably visually seeing it. In my room, the storm window does not go all the way up. That caused a lot of problems with the heating during the winter. This is a good way to 
GM5 this. We'll just ground it to this screw so somebody can splash some water on it and get electrocuted. This is to the stove, no less. Okay, I'm done. Yes. Oh, here. <laughs> and you got it on record? Yeah. Notice? Here, the plunger me, in the shoe. Let me narrate this. Come back this way. My other car is a broom. I packed it in the original car along with a spare mop and the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Joe, if your car breaks down, you have a lot to go home on. That's right. I think we pack all this shit up on a roof handle. That's right. <laughs> hey, man. <Maddie. laughs> Plant company. What? 